Pen-tapping has been a very common issue in classes, during lessons, and still is to this day. But what would you guys do if we told you that we have a product that would decrease pen-tapping? The teachers and students will now be relieved from the irritating sounds of pen-tappers. The pen cushion has created a foam pad that silences pen-tappers. The product has changed from the start with different materials, different sizes, updated the design, and we have eliminated one part of our product, the pen silencers, to focus on our core product. The target market, the target market features of all ages and students who want to minimize the bad habit. One day, a student named Billy walks, enters his classroom and he sees a foam pad on his teacher's desk. Billy questions the, the pad's use and the teacher <laughs> informs Billy of its use. She explains that the foam pad is used to silence the sound of pen tappers. We have changed some of our information. The price is two dollars for regular pad, one dollar fifty for mini pad. Place teachers' classrooms at brunch or lunch promotion. If you buy two regular size pads, you get one mini pad for free. We have so far marketed it in a showcase in February, and we asked for fifty dollars. We have also talked to some teachers about the product, and they have given us feedback on how to improve the product. We are a very unique product, and we have looked up for competition and we have not found any because we are really unique because we're awesome. For consumer research, we asked eight teachers in total uh, some questions, like they would use it, seven teachers said they would. We asked them if we should improve our product from this beginning to this ending and we really took in the teachers' inputs, more colors, like sparkles and glitter for the girls, schools for the boys. And we have taken that all into consideration into our finished prototype. And all teachers said that this solved pen tapping and that they would recommend this to other teachers. Um, our startup cost is $6.58. Our operating cost is $33.75, which is all these added together. Um, for glue sticks, it was $9 for a pack of 100 sticks. $9.90 for 9 yards, $7.93 for 50 foam pads, and $6.90 for 5 puppy pins. During our product business, we have saw that the foam pads came out to a total cost of $0.19 cents per unit. Our fabric that we used came out to a total cost of $0.33 cents per unit. The glue sticks that we used came out to a total of $0.09 cents per unit. And the puppy pens came out to a total cost of $0.17 cents per unit. Add those all up together and you get 78 cents for one whole unit. Um, our initial investment is our startup cost, which is $6.58 plus $33.75, which will equal a total of $40.32. We have spent away $7.17 for fabric, scissors, glue sticks, puppies, pants, and When we first began producing our product, we bought materials that cost about $12 to 50 cents, um, but later realized most of our materials were unnecessary, and we previously bought cheaper material, but the outcome that we expected didn't really happen, so we had to buy different fabric with our remaining money. 
for ourselves, we're expecting to sell at least $42 each and a couple for $150, which are limited time offer. For our revenue, we're expecting $95, and our profit is going to be the revenue subtracted by our total money, which will be $54 with 67 cents. So our total startup cost is $6 with 58 cents. Our total operating cost for the first three months is $33.75. Our cost per unit is seventy-eight cents, and our total was a forty, a total of forty dollars for thirty-three cents. And we asked in our last showcase for fifty dollars, and we're really happy we did because with that money we bought accidentally bought the wrong material, and we were able to bounce back from our mistake and create this finished product that we have here. We will have to sell twenty-one regular-sized pen cushion pads to break even. According to our sales projections, that should happen sometime in our second month of business. We have also realized in our business lessons that we have used different colors. We have used a variety of colors, but orange was our top seller because as Woodside, orange is our primary color. And we've used brighter colors so that people can walk by our product and go, oh, that's cool. But they have to turn a second, oh, wow, that's a really bright color. We've also used different samples of foam pads. We've taken one here, another there, the third one there, and we said, that's a good one, that's a good one, but wait, that one's better, and that's what we have here. And we have different sizes, but we have realized that it should be better to stick with the normal size pads and really have a limited time offer with the smaller pads. And for our spark skills, we have to use communication mostly out of all of them, because when our group wouldn't communicate, we wouldn't get anything done. But when we did communicate, we would get like at least 20 pads done. So communication was our main success. And then collaboration. When everyone was working together, we were able to do even more products. And when we had the material mishap problem solving, that was our hardest. We didn't know what to do. We were scared. We weren't sure if we were going to have enough money to, buy, to bounce back from our mistake. So we had to hold on to our grit, to our goals to succeed. So we did that. We problem solved. We went to a store. We actually had to go to Michael's on a mentorship meeting. And we bought new supplies. And we started manufacturing. And here's our end product. 